Gargani family. Moja. 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 Okay, so now we will say our Harambe's. <laughs> Harambe. 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 That's our last one. Okay. Harambe. As we celebrate and light the first candle of the day, it's the black candle in the middle that represents the people. We light this candle as we gather today in unity and show that as a people, we will do our best to unify and come together just like the lilies rise from nothing at all. Can you tell us what Umoja means? Okay, so for Umoja, it means unity. To strive for and maintain unity in the family, community, nation, and race. Kwanzaa day one, we are going to talk about family unity. So, Family unity is it's a unity as principle and practice begins in the family. So that's what we're creating today. But it presupposes value orientation of each member. Adults and children must respect and approach unity as a moral principle of family and community, not simply a political slogan. As principle and practice, this means principled and harmonious living with brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, sharing and acting of, in unison. So it means avoidance of conflict and quick, willing and principled resolution when it occurs. So we all know we've had incidents and as a family, we are still able to unify and we just need to reach those other members in the family and get us all unified as one. Okay, so that's my emoji for the day. And it's the desire to have unity in the black culture. And this is my family. And so, so what do you think? So what I wanna say is in researching the history of Kwanzaa, I found the dark past. It is said that Kwanzaa is invented in 1966 by a black radical FBI stooge, Ron Karinga, a.k.a. Dr. Mulana Karinga. Karinga was a, the founder of the United Slaves, a violent nationalist rival to the Black Panthers and a dupe of the FBI. It was probably ultimately a foolish gamble during the madness of the 1960s the FBI encouraged the most extreme Black nationalist organizations in order to discredit and split the left. The more preposterous, preposterous, sorry, the organization, the better. So it was said that Karinga was a part of, of course, the FBI trying to tear down the Black organizations because we were trying to get together and do something for our own communities. So what do you all think about that? This is true information? Yeah, this is true information. Just like with the drugs and, you know, all the stuff flooding into our um, community, this is true information. So it's basically saying that Kwanzaa was created to um, get information out of Black people in, in Los Angeles. So they created this group, even though it said that Karinga did it so that Black people could have a holiday to themselves, but it said that he was also working for the FBI and taking information back and getting other people through the organization to give information back. So I just wanted to share that, but Black history has a lot of deception. Regardless, we can make it our own. Learning the truth about Black history can be a challenge. How can you ever be happy if everything you have learned growing up was not the truth? Education is key, but what do you do when you now know better? I say do it your way and start your own family traditions. 
So today we are creating our week of unity for the family, something we can pass down to future generations and take out into the world with confidence and a clear conscience. And that is the end of my presentation. So now I would like for us to play a game called Kahoot. So if everybody can just go to the Kahoot website, I would like to share my screen. I won't be able to play. Can I watch you play? Yeah, you, got, you can watch us play. And I'll share my screen again so you can just see. Okay. Okay, so this is the pin number, and let me know when you guys are all in, or the show is, I think. Okay. okay. So, so the way to who go, go is, is the, the camera, camera will, will, I mean, I mean the, the screen, screen will tell you what, what we're playing, playing or, or to ask the first question. question. And, and on your, your phone, phone, you should have the Kahoot game, game and, you and you just pick, pick one. one. So, so there we go. We got 13 seconds. seconds. Okay, okay, everybody got, got it right. Woo! Okay. okay. Oh, oh everybody, everybody got it wrong. wrong. <laughs> uh uh. Uh uh. Both of them first harvest. I thought it was. I thought it meant both of them first harvest and fruits. <laughs> no, no, that, that was, was the right answer. answer. Speak that. That was the first fruits. harvest. Huh? <laughs> it was the first, first fruits, fruits that, that you harvested. harvested. Um, the celebration <laughs> it was okay. Y'all ready, ready for the, the next, next one? one? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Next, next we, we have. have... Uh oh, nobody, nobody in the lead. lead. <laughs> okay, okay. Next, next is true or false? Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa creator is still alive. alive. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, I got eight, eight seconds, seconds left. left. One more, more person needs to answer. answer. <laughs> One, One second. second. Uh, the, the answer is true. true. Mm. He is still, He's still alive, alive today. today. And, and most, most of our activists, activists are still, well, I don't know if they, they still live in California, California but, but most of them originated, originated like, like in colleges in California. California. You, know, you know, UCLA was a big campus. campus. You, you see Santa, Santa Cruz, y'all know Angela Davis still work there and, and all the stuff. stuff. Okay, okay, so, so now we have Camille and the lead. I thought two people got it right. <laughs> yes. Huh? Uh, I guess. Oh, okay, okay, next, next question. question. Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa was, was created, created in which year? Yes, nineteen sixty six. Okay. Uh oh, Brianna, Brianna and Kamaya, y'all tying. Okay, okay yes. next. next. Next quiz. Kuja Chagalia is one of the seven, seven principles of Kwanzaa. What, what does it mean? Good. Good. Ooh, Ooh, everybody, everybody got, got that. that. Who got Who it got first? It first? Uh oh, uh -oh. y'all. <laughs> well, she okay. probably didn't get it further because she up there already. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure I clicked on it first. <laughs> no, even if you did, you were still a thousand points ahead of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, so, so last, last question. question. This, this could make you or break you. True, true or false? Wands is a cultural, cultural holiday, holiday, not religious. religious. Okay. okay. Woo. Another game. game and, and the, the winners, winners third, third place, place free. Free. <laughs> <laughs> second place third play big Tamia is, is the winner, winner. <laughs> 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 okay 
Our Our cahoots cahoots winner. winner. Okay, Okay, and so that that will will conclude conclude my presentation of the day. day. And And as as always, always, everybody everybody stay stay safe, stay stay loving, loving, and and we are are creating tradition starting today. today. Do you have your plant that we're going to do libations? Yep. Yep. You ready ready for for the libations? libations? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, that's my my screen screen down there. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay, so so let me go back to my Zoom. Zoom. Why is it not moving? Okay, there we go. Okay, Okay, so so I don't know know if you go back back and watch my YouTube YouTube video from from last last year. We had had a story story about the lily. The lily lily was completely dead. Three years now. This lily and has rose, rose from the phoenix, phoenix like, like ooh, ooh, y'all, y'all don't know, know the ashes. And, and last year produced four lilies. lilies. If you look this year, it produced over 20 lilies, lilies almost. So, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead, ahead and take the libation, libation and pour it into our vessel. May God be with us. That was, that was for me. me. Anybody, Anybody else going to do theirs? I'm just going to call some ancestors' names. Okay, Okay. so So I want to start start off. off. We don't don't have have a lot of ancestor ancestor names names to call, call, but I'm going to start off with Emery Parker. Parker. Ashe. Ashe. And And Andrew White. White. Ashe. Daisha Turner. Oh, Oh, everybody. everybody Sorry. Ashe. Ashe. Grandma Flowers. Lois Flowers, Ashe, Two, Ashe, Ashe, Papa Turner, Ashe, Uncle Simon, Ashe, Little Robert, Ashe, Uncle Gary, Ashe, Big and Little Gary, Yeah, and Little Gary, Ashe, Ashe. We poured, poured our libation. libation. And we did. Yep. yep. So, so thank, thank you to the lilies. The lilies. They, they get, get produced more and more, more every year due to us using it as our Kwanzaa plant. plant. Okay. okay. <laughs> so <laughs> my day is over. Everybody, everybody have a good night. And, and if y'all want to still chit chat, we can. Yeah, how was everybody's day? <laughs> My day was I just awesome. rested today no, no, personally, no, no. so Brianna, I had a great day. But um, something mute. I did just want to bring up, Mother, about your presentation is the um, FBI fact. I thought that was pretty interesting. I'm going to have to go and yeah. do some more research on that. I feel like that story may be juicy. So <laughs> thank you for bringing that new knowledge to the table. Yes. All right. Good job, Mama. Thank good you. job, Mama. Sorry, yeah, mother. no, I was like kind of shocked about that fact. I didn't really know that he was a FBI informant. I didn't either. It kind of made me look differently at <laughs> Kwanzaa. <laughs> yeah, Kwanzaa, because it's just like I—I I mean, okay, I knew there was like something about that about him, but I also didn't know that he was like fully against like the Black Panther Party. Yeah. Like, I haven't heard none of that. Everything that I've read so far has just made it seem like, mm-hmm. you know, he just did it after the riots to help unify Black people. So, unfortunately, it's very true. I was looking at it, and yeah, he helped kill some of the Black Panthers and stuff. Yep. Well, you know, he didn't actually kill them, but the information that he gave. Yeah. So how do y'all? So everybody, Camaro and Mummy. How do y'all feel about, I mean, celebrating Kwanzaa with that information? Does it change how you feel about it or look at it? Okay, so for me personally, when I You're found muted. out- You're Can you hear me now? No. Now? No. I don't know why. Can you hear me now? Can y'all hear mama or am I tripping? No. Oh, okay, I didn't think so. Okay, well- <laughs> Can you, can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Mm-hmm. Huh? huh? Yes. Okay. okay. 
so, so for, for me personally, personally I, I feel like, like um, everything, everything in our past, past is corrupt. corrupt. You, know you know what I mean? mean? Everything, everything that was presented, presented as good, good for black people to be unified or together, together it, it all stemmed, stemmed from, from some ulterior motive. So, so I, I feel, feel like, like going forward, forward even, even, I mean, I mean just, just knowing, knowing the truth is, is, is enough, you know, you know but, but you still set your own traditions, because, because how do we know that the information wasn't put, put, put out to keep us separate on something, something that's so good? You know what I mean? So I just feel like, okay, we know now. And if we still want to celebrate Kwanzaa, that's a principle. We're, I mean, these are things that we're doing to unify our family. But, but can't nobody come to us and be like, like you, you all celebrate Kwanzaa and you don't even know what it's about. Oh, yes, I do. I know that the CIA infiltrated, infiltrated Black, Black Panthers, Panthers just like they did Kwan. You know, the, everything, everything that we do, they, they, it was infiltrated. So, so now, now that we know, know these things, things, you know, we can defend ourselves when people try to criticize us for creating and building what we want to do in our family. That's how I feel. Yeah, like I really like the holiday itself and the celebration. Now, the backstory is what is created from. I don't agree with it at all, at all. But I feel like we make it as it is, just like people celebrate Christmas and celebrate uh, what's it called? All the holidays. Yeah, all the holidays: Fourth of July, Thanksgiving. Knowing that you know, one black people aren't free and. All this and that, even though this is like a huge betrayal for, you know, black people to be helping kill other black people just because they couldn't agree and, you know, helping others. I feel like that's even worse than what white people do. But I feel like you make it what you make it. <laughs> Amen, sister. Yes, I say to both of those. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Me? Me? Anybody. <laughs> I'm good. I'm still trying to look. I'm just you have, you appalled. appalled. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I am appalled. Like I, I for reason. But because I'm definitely more so like I you know, Kami and I as the Black Student Union and just everything that we do, we study like the people that I read books are the Black Panthers. Like and I feel like everybody reads after the Black Panther Party, Angela Davis, all of them. Mm -hmm. So for it to be like, oh, we kind of celebrating the composer's creation makes me feel kind of different. But like I said, you make it what you make it. I don't, like, I don't know. I don't agree with how it was created or what it was created for, but I feel like this is a great time for Black families to get together. Like, like you gotta, gotta have something, something. You, know you know what I mean? If we, if we, if we was, was going, going against everything that we ever had created, created for us, we wouldn't have nothing. nothing. You know what I mean? Because like, like they, the, the Black Panthers, Panthers was infiltrated by the FBI. FBI. Everything, everything they, they, they everything, everything they could do to destroy us, us they have the good, good, bad, whatever. whatever. You, know you know what I mean? So. If, if we, we just take a look, look at, at life, life like that, that we'll, we'll never have nothing ourselves. for ourselves. Yeah, I feel like um, the story that you brought kind of speaks to the lack of unity in the Black community, but I think it shows why it's so important for us to kind of reclaim this holiday for good um, and to make the best out of it. I feel like that's the best kind of punch back or retaliation that we can have is to take it and make it greater than they ever thought it could be and really use it for what they did. probably didn't think that we could you know that we were capable of they didn't think we could unify they didn't think we could come together and do these things so I think the biggest slap in the face would be taking it and making it great so yeah anybody else Camaro Vincent y'all want to say anything Okay. <laughs> no, but overall, you know, it's all new to me. So I'm glad to be able to sit here unified with you guys and being able to learn 
our history and also just learn more about a part of our culture. It's going to take me a minute to pick up on everything. It was like, it was all very new. I don't know how, how you guys caught on so quick. If you guys have like a little, you know, sheet to share, please. But I will be studying and learning more. So, yeah. It doesn't, um, as far as what was asked prior from Kriana, it doesn't really stray, yeah, stray me away from learning more about Kwanzaa. It doesn't put a negative light on it. You guys kind of already said it all, but you can always turn something negative and make it positive. And I feel like collectively we can make it a positive thing. And hopefully more and more people, more and more black people join in and learn and find the positivity in it all. We could create our own holiday that will be celebrated worldwide. I say to that, yes. <laughs> okay. So that's really it for the day.